Okay, so welcome back to this course. So now in this video, let's process our payment uh, in this video. Okay, so simply go back and then let's add here uh, in the payment. Let's just add here submit handler. So on submit equals to the submit handler. So let's put in here submit handler and also if I first of all bring in the uh, order info from the session stories remember we have saved in the session story so const order info equals to json dot parse the session storage dot get item and we have to get the order info Okay, so let's in the submit handler, and before that, I should put in here const const payment data that we have passed the backend. Remember, we have to pass the amount that we have to pay. Okay, so amount is the uh, mat dot round the order info dot total price and multiply that with the hundred because uh, when you have to pass the amount to the back end you don't have to pass the 50 for example the, uh, the bill is 50 dollars okay so for example total amount is 50 so you have to multiply 50 by 100 so that will be actually five five thousand okay so five thousand like they, they take the amount in the cents so we have to multiply that with the hundred so 50 multiplied by 100 will be 5000 cents and that will be equal to the 55 or 50 dollars okay so remember that you have to pass the amount in the cents so you have to multiply it with the cents okay and after that let's in our submit handler first of all e dot prevent default and then document dot query selector query selector the dot have a dot dot hashtag pay btn which is the payment button and i will disable it because it cannot allow user to click again and again if the if, if it is already processing okay so dot disabled equals to true and then i will put in here let's result and let's create a try catch block okay so if there is any error then I simply have to enable the button again so document dot query selector actually I'll copy this one because if there is some error then we have to make it false so that user can send the request again and then simply I will alert here so alert dot error the error dot response dot data dot message right and else in the try I have to send the post request so I simply create here the config so cons config equals to uh, headers we have to pass in the headers so the content type is application slash json and then uh, res equals to await um axios dot post to slash api slash v1 slash payment slash process you have to pass in the payment data that is the amount so payment data and then the config okay and then remember we are we have sent the client secret in the response so we get that so const client secret okay that will be res dot dot data dot client secret we have passed that from the backend in the response and then before we want to check that if not strike or not elements 
then we simply have to return from here okay so we also have to make sure that this type and elements exist that we have just imported before in our previous video so if it don't exist then we, then we simply have to return from here okay and let's now cons result equals to await stripe dot because now we have to use the stripe so make sure that this stripe exists to avoid errors so now stripe dot confirm it has a method that is confirm card payment that is card so confirm the card payment because we are paying to the card and that I have to pass first of all the client secret to authenticate the transaction and then we have to pass in here an object the first option is going to be payment underscore method and in the decimal pass in here the card that is elements dot get element and pass in here the card number element and then the billing details you can pass as many options as you want but I will simply pass in the billing uh, details I simply pass in here name and the email so name is going to be user.name and then email is going to be user.email alright and then after that I will check that if uh, result dot error for example if there is some error then we simply have to alert alert dot error and pass in the error sorry result dot error dot message and then if there is some error then again we have to enable the button so set it to false okay and if there is no any error else else if result dot payment intent dot status is equal to succeeded succeeded okay and I also put in here the comment first of all the payment is processed or not let me check that so if it is success if, it is, if the payment is successful then we simply have to place the order okay okay so in the next video i will place the order so that is to do new order all right and after placing the order i simply have to push to the success page the success is the order success page so I simply put in here success that we don't have created yet and if okay so now let's simply save it or I'm going to type here else because if it's not succeeded then I simply alert dot error here that there is some issue while payment processing all right so it says that uh, where it is only allowed in the async functions so that is async okay so now let's uh, actually test it out. I hope that it will work. Let's simply save it, and also let's let's actually put in here the amount that we have to pay to tell the user. So after the pay, I simply put here the back ticks and dash. Let's put in here that order the. Uh, that was order info yes order info 
so that is make sure order info exists and then order info dot total price that you have to pay simply save it and now if i go back and reload the page uh, you will see here already so we have to pay 266 dollars we know that okay and to check the payment i simply have to go to the stripe website so stripe test card payment So here they will give you two uh, card numbers. So that is not authentication, then that is authentication required. So I will use this card number. Okay. So if I copy this card number, so control C, so this is valid. You can see that. And expiry, let's for example, I type here 23 or 2 and then 35. Okay. And then CVC part type here 111. And if I click on pay cannot create property of undefined okay so let's go to top so that is let's actually log that error to see what is saying so I simply uh, also log here error error dot response response dot uh, this data okay, save it now if I go back control C let's reload the page put in here the card number pay if you go to inspect console you will see here that cannot read property create of undefined create create so where i have used the create uh, let me go to my backend Controllers, payment controllers. Oh, that is payment intents, not payment intent. Simply save it. And now if I go back and click on pay, so now you can see that you don't get here error, <laughs> another error. So you didn't provide an API key, you need to provide, uh, you didn't provide an API key. Okay. So, okay. Simply go back and let me first of all actually change uh, the class with the class name. So, control H class with the class name. Oops, so we save it. And now, if I go back. Inspect console. Let me go back. And in the app.js, where it is, so in the app.js, let me first of all log this data. So log data dot stripe API key. If I simply save it, now if I go back and put in here the card number, pay, if I click on inspect on the console. Uh, I have my API key here. Okay. Um, that is client secret. I think so. If I go to my payment controller to the backend, 
so we are passing in here data data and oh oh that is small s not capital s i think so this is causing the error let's test it out if i simply save it go back and let's reload the page put in here the card number the expiry time cvc pay Oh, again we have the same error all right I think so it is not getting the API key I think so this is the API key that it is not getting okay so I think so this is what I do is if we log here log that you know that is key then let's put in here process dot env dot this one and i am sure that it is going to give me undefined and here we go all right so i think so oh, yes we don't have specified the config here we have specified the config in our server.js so what i do is i can simply 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 um import this one so control c okay in the app.js yes. and I also put this control C and let's put that right here simply save it yeah, and now, now we get our API key all right so that's why it is giving us error so let's close this one this one and remove this simply save it and, and I want to tell you that I have just paused the video to check it out because I was really confused that why I'm not getting the API key and I realized that I haven't set the config in the app.js right and now if I go back to my chrome and let's copy the card number from here which is this one so controls control c put that here the month is let's type this one this is a cvc and now if I click on the pay button You will see that it is going to it is going to authenticate the transaction so you can see that this is the test payment of 266.68 usd so if i click on complete authentication and that's it we are on a success page and if i go back if i go back to my stripe account and in the trans payments you will see here one payment all right so this is the customer plan at plan at gmail.com so uh, gulam at gmail.com so 266.66 this is the transaction succeeded all right so this is the payment method visa card this is the date this is the amount this is the fees whatever they have and this is the all details this is the owner which is gulam Abbas, right so now we have successfully processed our payment using the stripe you can see that in the, your account and that's it all right you can also see that right here 255 is the USD balance and definitely this is the test data not the original data so the problem just was with this key and everything is fine all right and that's also uh, actually remove this log here it is this one all right so we save it and that's it we have successfully processed our payment now in my next video after uh, when the payment is processed I have to place a new order and save that order in the database okay so i will do all that stuff in my next video